this morning as we uh, celebrate the uh, resurrection of our Lord, we're celebrating our resurrection. Have you considered that this morning? That the Lord has raised us up out of the pit of our sin. We've been talking about that the last couple of weeks. And, and the majesty of our Lord, the dominion of God, to do what he did. He is an awesome God. Mighty to save. There's no place you can go, there's no low that you can attain that he cannot reach down into that pit and lift us up out of it. Do you know that? I hope that you do. For those of us who've been pulled up out of the pit, we celebrate that today. Out of the, the depths of the tomb of our own sin and darkness, and the Lord opened the door and said, follow me. In uh, John 10, turn with me there if you would. The Lord makes one of my favorite proclamations of who he is and what he will do. John 10, 17. John 10, 17 says, For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life so that I may take it again. No one has taken it away from me, but I lay it down on my own initiative. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. This commandment I receive from my Father. Jesus, when he went to the cross, he went there with dominion. The nails did not hold him to the cross. Roman soldiers couldn't keep him there. The love of God, his love for us, held him on the cross. That he might win the way out of sin and death. Out of the darkness, out of the pit. His atonement, His shed blood for our sin. But think about this in your own life. For this reason the Father loves me because I lay down my life. Have you laid down your life? Have you laid down that old self that you once were in your sin? Put that man to death? Laying down our life? Saying, Lord... I don't want it anymore. Wash me. Cleanse me. We lay it down that we may take up new life, right? When you get sick and tired of your life, that's when the Lord usually steps in and says, Hey, I'll trade you. How about making a trade today? Give me your old life. Lay it down and I'll give you new life. You see, if somebody has talked you into the kingdom of God and has, has uh, guilted you, so to speak, religion can do that at different points. But listen, don't let anybody ever do that to you. The Lord wants you to lay down your life that you could say, nobody's taken it from me. Nobody guilted me into accepting Jesus. Nobody said, nobody scared me with even eternal condemnation which is not uh, a lie. Yes, there is an eternal lake of fire. Hey, we don't want to go there. Jesus paid the price that we don't. But if it's fear that drives us there, we haven't got the real gospel. It's his love that should win us over that we lay down our lives and say, Lord, I don't want it anymore. And nobody's taking it from me. Even the Lord himself he is a gentleman. People have said, I just wish the Lord would take control. You have to give him control. Give him control. Give him your life. He isn't going to strip you of it himself even. You see, when we can say this, nobody's taken my life from me. 
I've given it to God. I've given it to Him willingly. I lay it down on my own initiative. As we see people baptized today, that's what they're doing. They're laying down that old man of sin to be now buried with Christ. The Lord has done a good work in all those who would choose to lose their life for His sake. Because then they shall find it, right? When we finally let go and give the Lord our life, take up a new life in Him, we find real life. The true life abundant that Jesus came to provide. Amen? The Lord has raised us up also. And today as we uh, enter into baptism with these folks, this is a wonderful day to do it. Come on in. We're going to have a uh, song playing here as we're going for a minute.